Hi, so what we've got here are two prototype wind generators and you can see them here and here and they're using Tesla turbines. Now, these things are actually pretty impressive. What I've got is this thing. It's a, a pump meant for blowing up your airbed. So the amount of air that comes out of here is, n is not substantial, okay? It's going to blow up your airbed, maybe dry your hair, something like that. It actually puts out about uh, 250 litres of air a minute. So that gives you some idea of the kind of um, air volume that we're shifting with this. And I'm going to spin these up. Now, because the air volume is so slow, I'm going to give it a little kickstart, and you will be able to see that meter climb up as it begins to run. And I'm going to run this one first, and then I'll run this larger one here. So let's give it a go. And there we go, 10 volts already. The more air volume you can shift over this in the less time, the faster it will spin and the higher that voltage will go. And that's the small one for you. And it'll continue to run on a little bit. Now, the efficiency of these things is dependent on the radius of that little disc in there. So we've got a 100 millimeter disc in there in this little machine. And on this machine, we've got a 300 millimeter disc. We haven't got a case around it, so I'm just going to point the air at the machine. Now the machine has three outputs, and they're all identical. So we've got three sets of coils out the back there that are being driven, and we get three outputs, and those three outputs will be the same. So all we have to do is read one and multiply it by three. So let's click, connect up the meter to one of those outputs. Start it going. So one of our outputs is reading 10, which means that this thing is now outputting 30 volts.
Here you go. 45 volts. 45 volts from a hairdryer. How about that? Now, and the momentum of this thing is so large, that would just continue to spin. When we tested this, we did it with some pressurised air, and we got those revolutions up there. And this was putting out 120 volts, 40 volts per uh, coil set, and three coil sets. But I hope that was of interest to you, and thank you very much for watching.